this is gonna be so much thing to touch on. Yeah, I know. First one, I don't know what the f you were doing. Who me? <laughs> Something he was doing like before one of these songs. I don't know. He was just just too into it. <laughs> <laughs> so he was at a whole concert by yourself. You're like, what the f is he doing? <laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. I was Zim Zim Labemin again. Minding my business. What the fuck he was doing? Let me stop. But then um, I was I was Zimmerla Bemin. Zimmerla Bem. I'm Zimmerla Bemin. I'm minding my business. Um, and then for two, I know they had one song, um, Ice Cream Cake. Uh -huh. Now we know, or at least we know now, just from experience. Oh, uh, these fucking K-pop songs ain't so innocent. Okay? True. Drew. They was talking about some nasty sh If they think if they talking about what I think they talking about based on what Cream Soda was talking about, what we thought it was about and it wasn't about. Oh, I don't know. Cause I thought I could Ice play. Cream cake. I thought I could play this with my daughter. <laughs> no. It's like I'm sadly I am sadly mistaken. They want that ice cream cake. What's that mean? What do you think it is? Man? I don't know. It could mean, you know, ice cream cake. It could mean something else. Either way, yo. Uh, like Kogan said, bro, I feel like just doing these killing voices, bro, this is really kind of like an eye opener to a lot of groups, like really quick. And I feel like it's just really dope to be able to get a, this whole experience all within a couple minutes. Um, because it's so hard for us to get around and so many reactions, but just to hear these girls blow, bro, like who would have ever knew, at least us, like it's like we wouldn't know until we actually had time to get around to Red Velvet. But I'm gonna just say, Yo, they, they did amazing, bro. These girls did absolutely amazing. Hands down, this was like, they they killed this. Like, they really killed this. I felt like between the energy that they gave um, from start to finish and then how the songs went, it was just amazing, bro. I got chills at so many different points in times. A lot of times, I really couldn't even say nothing because I just wanted to watch and see what they were going to do, see who was going to blow at any point in time. And they all did at different times, and I just felt like it was dope, bro. And I ain't just saying it just to say it, but I feel like this is one of those groups where for the first half of their singing, it was like, yo, they gave so much high pack energy, bro. It was just like, I can see how they have a fan base that or just it, every k-pop group has this fan base and i feel like that's so dope but it's just like the music that they provided in the energy level alone i feel like kind of draws you into them like with every song that they were hitting from the beginning it was just like it was so energetic it was just like you wanted to kind of like of course the people that know it sing along with it but it was kind of like I feel like it was just up, you know, it kept you up a lot. And it's like, I feel like that type of music to me, it's just like, it's a mood shifter. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, you need that type of music at different points in times. And I feel like they just kept and provided it through like the first half of the whole video. And I just felt like even when they went into um, the second half, I'm going to get on that. But just like I said, like the first half rolling between the vocals at different points in times, the girl on the end, I don't know her name. Um, but of course she had this voice that was just like, yo, I said she was, you know, probably the, their lead or, you know, whoever, mm. like the one in charge. Um, Y'all let us know if that's right. But yo, all of them killed it, bro. Mm. Like all of them have these amazing, powerful voices, bro. Dude. I feel like for us, it was slept on. Mm. Of course we didn't, we did, um, what was it? Bad Boy? Yeah, from Bad Velvet, and even that song still like you said, just, you said from Bad Velvet, uh, from uh, Red Velvet. Um, <laughs> so we did Bad Boy from Bad Velvet. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, it's late. Um, but even that song, just to hear it again, bro. I feel like the songs that we always do for some reason. Why does it seem like I like them the most? It just seems like for how it came in, you know. My just, thing is too. It cra what's crazy is that like. I don't, I don't even think we I think we just kind of Either somebody requested we do that Or we just picked it off the random No to, I think so Well I don't know It's so long ago I, I mean because you know Sometimes videos come out and be like Oh that's a new group Let's yeah, react yeah, to them yeah, sure. But my thing is too If you want to get technical When we recorded uh, Bad Boy That was four years ago That's how long we That was our first Red Velvet that video It was like five years ago No it was four years ago I literally looked at it when oh. so. It was four It was four years ago When we did it Um so that that's how that's how you know how like we haven't done a red velvet since that like and the fact that we got to indulge in all this music was kind of like a 
a sugar rush of just red velvet. Yo, for real, that's a perfect way to put it. Like a sugar rush of a red velvet, and it was good, bro. I actually really liked it. I really enjoyed myself. Like uh-huh. it was, it was fun from uh-huh. start to finish. And I'm gonna even say for the second half of the songs, bro. I don't know what it was, but I literally loved every single song. They have this like. I don't know. It's like the transition from what they did in the beginning to what they did at the end was so different that it threw me off. But at the same time, for how their slow songs sound, bro, mm. like I literally love them. I think I want to actually listen to every single slow song that they had. They have something within it, and it's just like I'm gonna it, tell you what it is. It's like a nostalgic old type of I'm gonna feeling. Tell you, I'm gonna tell you what it is, and it's just like it kind of drew me. <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna tell you what it I is. I feel like between them. And I know who knows that this will ever happen. And I know XG has their own singers, but it's like I could see them like really producing something good. Um, if it ever was to come about, I know it's two different groups with you know a, um, a bunch of women, and who knows if it'll ever happen. But I don't know. I just see. I don't. I don't know how it would fit, but I, I feel like I see it for some reason. You know, between like the stuff that I feel like XG does, between some of their. Um, songs that are you know with singers and stuff and just how some of their songs go towards Mm -hmm. like just like an older type of feel i feel like something new and something older between a mashup between them would sound really good but who knows if that'll ever happen um it's just something my own personal opinion but between their songs bro like i said i literally loved almost every single slow song i can tell you exactly what it was that they did bro like it was very intriguing to me i don't like i just can't it just gave me a feeling of of just like it just, the way they sung it how their vocals sound how the beat sounds even the way they put their lyrics i felt like everything was perfect bro like i felt like like kogan said we got the sugar rush in the beginning but the end kind of just was like all right like for one like i said i wasn't expecting that i, I mean i say sugar rush just in general for just a rush of red velvet songs that we haven't heard well i just feel like the whole beginning was just like a very amped type mm-hmm. of like adrenaline you know based songs but still chill mm. but um yo i loved it bro mm. I, like i i really do i feel like i got a new found respect for red velvet based on what we heard just within these whole you know 30 something minutes like it was just it makes me want to just listen to a lot of this stuff more because a lot of this stuff i was trying to at least for the fact that i don't think we could i wasn't really paying attention i was looking more so at the bottom because i feel like at least i can tell what album it came from and a lot of stuff was older it's like 2015 i'm like yo this stuff to me sounds like and it might just be the fact that we're older but mm-hmm. at the same time it's like it sounds good mm-hmm. like i like it bro mm-hmm. so yeah I thank ain't... you for the request for one word velvet bro like, yeah no for real i know like i said you gotta you guys gotta be patient with us we're gonna try to get to these um killing voices as soon as we can i know when you see them we're not ignoring you we're just trying to you know get to them in a certain order and record them in a certain order you may request something but we may have already recorded something so don't think we're not listening don't think we're not watching but i enjoyed this man i enjoyed red velvet um and i'm gonna touch on what i feel like Caden's trying to um explain the the beginning of the, the beginning first half of like the video as far as killing voice i got summer vibes i got being at the beach like a beach party like a lot of the songs sound like a beach party song like to where you like you got somebody in the pool like throwing back the volleyball back and forth you just got tons of commotion going on but it's fun like um and i got that as far as like their music that's why i was like i kind of feel like i could play this for my daughter like at a certain point now granted i don't know as far as some of the lyricism like maybe some stuff i don't know about but just the way it sounded like i can cake i know what they was talking i can imagine her singing this in the car or something like that but um i enjoyed it yeah. and there was a song on there oh boy i really like that song for some reason um now granted if it's not for a guy cool but at the same time like i still liked it for just how it sounded and just to be in the, in the instrumental mm-hmm. um as far as the girl on the end bro she was blowing bro she was it was times that she was blowing like throughout the whole and my thing is too i know he said they had powerful voices but i feel like they had different different voices I, I wouldn't say they were all powerful but at the same time they were all unique for some reason mm. like like I, I like they like the girl in the end she seemed like she 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 blew like a lot mm. and, all, and and all of them like i said they had different unique singing voices like but like i said they all sounded good they all sounded amazing but i feel like she had the most like powerful voice she had a power i feel like everybody had powerful voices she just had the most powerful voice yeah i mean like i said i, I feel like you could like and I, I wish this would happen one of these days where you can just put everybody like like i said as far as rappers put everybody that you feel with a good rappers from every group 
put them all together, put all of the powerful singers from every group, literally from BTOB, since we just heard them, you know, from Red Velvet, like just everybody collectively, like all the good, like blowers as far as singing, like, you know, Kai and, and, and Taman, like all of them, like just how they blow sometimes, like, um, but at the same time too, as far as the second half of the video, what I got, I got, honestly, I got smooth, like smooth R&B. And I feel like what he was saying is like XG kind of provides old school hip hop. Like as far as the way they do things, it's kind of like a Missy Elliott type Sierra type thing. And I think with them, I got, I literally got, there was, there was a song, it was called Time to Love. And as I was listening, no lie, I swear, like it's a song about our mother always sing, uh, I was literally just singing. Sweet love, don't you da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, I swear it was literally almost the same thing. And it's like, sweet love, like, time to love. It was almost this, like, literally, like, it sounded the same. So I'm like, that's what I got from it as far as, like, how they sound. Like, as far as just, like, it was like, like I don't want to say smooth jazz, but, like, smooth, like, R&B, like, back in the day to where it's, like, yeah, the lyrics were very that. slow. Like, it, it almost confused me at first because it's, like, we went from, like, having these, like, bright songs to, like, these very, full, these very like, slow, soulful, like, R&B sounding songs. And it was literally, like, three songs back to back that sounded like that. And I even looked at the bottom, too. They came from different albums, but I'm, like, they could have been on the same album, too, because they just sounded like they went together. Or mm -hmm. just, like, perfect to be together as far as a um r and b like smooth song and <clears throat> I liked it I enjoyed it from start to finish um and like I said, our first red velvet was bad boy, and we didn't do that we did that four years ago, but just hearing it it's like you almost like you forgot the lyrics, but then you remember the lyrics uh -huh. too like but i i enjoyed it man like it was a fun 30 minute video like just hearing their different vocal ranges different sounds different uh rapping styles unique and i'm i'm i was sitting on i feel like it's this thing to where it's like when you sit all the guys together it's like they play around mm -hmm. you sit the girls together it's like it took y'all 26 minutes to play around like i didn't really see them like messing around with each other like do like any like Funny, maybe they were trying to focus and you know get through this 30 minutes but yeah. i seen like the guys it's like everybody and then maybe because everybody wasn't going at a certain time but it's like still at, at the same time you still saw like i saw them do little stuff in here but it was nowhere near the like i said i think it was more so like oh let me fix something for you or like doing stuff that's a part of the song like mm -hmm. oh hearts like mm -hmm. oh or like that's a part of like the dance routine i seen something like that. but the other guys you see them like staring at each other mm -hmm. like playing around like mm -hmm. smacking each other like like, said, like all of them were just doing stuff like that, but you see like Red Velvet like very like. I feel like they they seem like a, a older, more mature group too. Like uh -huh. who knows how old they're they young are. as hell. Yeah, nineteen, twenty, eight. <laughs> <laughs> but I felt like yo, it was just uh, the whole thing overall from start to finish was a very dope experience, and it, it, it threw me for a loop between the first and the second half, and I actually liked that loop. Like I felt like it was very caught me off guard um and i felt like just the music from start to finish i i actually enjoyed like all of it like mm -hmm. it was it was everything was good to me mm -hmm. like and i kind of just want to be able to explore other albums just to see what else that they might have i feel like there's probably gems on there that you know we haven't heard but mm -hmm. it could be some more slow type of r b to where it just i don't know like that type of stuff just takes you back keeps you where you you are where you are as far as in the present but you can still go back every now and then so and i'm gonna say this and this may be kind of controversial but honestly i like finding new music and i don't like finding new music because it's like it's a headache bro it's like now i gotta figure out like it's a it's so much more to figure out like mm. like btob like we never probably not saying we ever would have reacted to them but it's like now I gotta dive deep into them and figure yeah. out what they got, what they like the best stuff they got. Red Velvet. Now I gotta dive deep into them. And that's not even scratching the surface, so it's annoying, bro. Like it's just like it's just so much stuff to listen to. So much like. Well, I feel like that is the good part about at least doing it this way because we have people that can necessarily they they know what we at least tell them that we like and they can maybe give us a faster route to find out more of what we like mm -hmm. as opposed to us trying to figure it out on our own. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like they could do that with any group or, you know, just help us out with songs that we feel like, oh yeah, like, um, 
what was that song? Uh, Lemonade by, you know, NCT. Like, they could tell mm-hmm. we was rocking with that. So mm-hmm. it's like they might be able to find more songs within that, you mm-hmm. know, that just kind of give us that sound. But And there was like, one point in time, too, where a certain song sounded like a, almost like a kind of Beyonce vibe. Like, uh-huh. just like the the instrumental in the background and how uh-huh. it was going for the time. But I, I liked it, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah, man, I so. felt like them girls did an amazing job. Like, way above amazing. Like, mm-hmm. I, I really liked it. So... Yeah, but we definitely going to check out some more Red Velvet, man. Guys, thank you again for the reaction request. Thank you for, you know, everybody that's hounding us to do these. Like I said, just just give us some time. We, we're also going to get back to doing regular music videos. We're just trying to get out a bunch of these killing voices that a lot of people are requesting. So just be patient, please, and we'll, we'll get to it as soon as we can. But with that being said, we're going to get out of here, guys. Thank you again for the reaction request. Once again, my name is Kogan. And that's Skull Pack React.